We're going to start applications in part C now, and we're going to start with an initial value problem. So we're given the second derivative of a function, and we're asked to find the function y as a function of x. So we're going to integrate, and that'll give us the first derivative. We can use the information then that we're given to find the constant of integration, and then we'll repeat again to get the function. So this is going to give us 4x cubed over 3 plus 3x squared over 2 minus 8x plus a constant. And we're told the first derivative at 0 is 4. And just by noticing here, this has an x, this has an x, this has an x. Multiplying all these by 0 is going to result in 0. And that tells us then that c is equal to 4. So to find the first derivative, or to find the function now, we integrate the first derivative. And that means we're going to integrate 4x cubed over 3 plus 3x squared over 2 minus 8x plus 4 with respect to x. And if we integrate that, we're going to end up with 4x to the 4 over 4 times the 3, 3 is already there, plus 3x cubed over 2 times 3, because the 2 is already there, minus 8x squared over 2, plus 4x plus c. And again, we're going to use our initial information, y of 0 is minus 2. Noting again that each of these is going to be multiplied by x, meaning that the c, in this case, we'll call this c2, so it's separate, is going to equal negative 2 when we put in 0 for each of the x's. And that tells us our final answer, y is x to the 4 over 3 plus x cubed over 2. I'm just reducing each term now. 4x squared, 4x minus 2. So there's y as a function of x, using all of our initial conditions to find the constants of integration. So we'll move now to the next question, which is an area problem. And we're asked to find the area bound by the following curves. And we have two curves. We can quickly identify the first curve here as the red one because it opens down and the x is negative, in which case this here is going to be the blue curve. And if we think about the area, we want to draw a representative rectangle. And if we draw a horizontal rectangle here, we're going to touch the red curve twice or the blue curve twice. And that's not going to be very effective. So we want to draw a dx rectangle or a vertical rectangle. And that means that we have the top is the red curve or this first function and the bottom is going to be the blue curve or the second function. And so immediately we can write our integral for area. We're going to evaluate between the x values, which are from here to here. And if we work those out, that's from 0 up to 5. And we take our top function, negative x squared plus 5x plus 2 and subtract our bottom function, x squared minus 5x plus 2. And we'll put some big square brackets there and put our dx outside. If we do some algebra before we integrate, we can save ourselves some work. Minus 2x squared plus 10x minus 5x here becomes plus. 2 minus 2 is 0, so there's their simplified function. Integrating gives us negative 2x to the 3 over 3 plus 10x squared over 2. And we need to evaluate from 0 up to 5. And if we go ahead then, that's going to be negative 2 times 5 to the power of 3 over 3. Plus, and we're going to say that's 5 times 5 to the power of 3, or 5 to the power of 2 there. And then that's 
plugging in five. If we plug in zero, everything becomes zero. So we'll just write minus zero. And if we evaluate that, we end up with 125 over three. And we can call that units squared. So that's the area between those two curves. Final example we'll do in this video is volume question. And we're asked to find the volume of the solid formed when the region bound by these curves is rotated around the x-axis. So here's our rotation. And we want to use the shell method. And this is the shape that we're going to generate here. Shell method tells me I need a parallel rectangle. So there's my rectangle. That is immediately a dy rectangle. Because I'm using shell method, I know I need three things. I need the radius, I need the height, and I need the thickness of each of my shells. Well, the thickness is dy. The distance from the rotational axis to the rectangle is the radius, that's y. And the height of each rectangle is the right-hand curve, which in this case is x equal root y root y minus the left-hand curve, which is y squared. Again, making sure they're both written x equals because we need y as our variable. And now we just use the formula. So we'll do it over here, make sure we have enough space. 2 pi integral from 0 to 1. Remember, we're integrating the y direction. 0 to 1 of y times y to the half minus y squared dy. And that means we have b is equal to 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 1 of y to the 3 over 2 minus y cubed dy. If we simplify, if we integrate then 2 pi times y to the 5 over 2 over 5 over 2 or times 2 over 5 minus y to the 4 over 4 from 0 to 1. And similar to the area question, we'll plug in the 1. That'll give us 2 over 5 minus 1 over 4. And then we're going to subtract, plug in 0, but that's 0, so we don't even need to worry about that. And if we multiply that all together, we get the final answer, which is 3 over 10 3 pi over 10 units cubed, because now we're talking about volume. And if you wanted to do some practice, you could do this exact same question using a dx rectangle. And if you integrated it, you would get exactly the same, only then you would be using the disk method. But it would work just as well. So we'll stop this video here. We'll do one more video that has the last three answers in it.